This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test 1. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Your house is very noisy. Yes, it's always like this. Who are all the people? What are their names? Well, the little boy who's playing the drum is my brother. He's called Sam. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look, that girl has dropped a plate. Oh dear, poor Emma. She made that pizza for her lunch. Why doesn't someone help her? Hmm, everyone's busy. Who's the child on the floor? The boy who's watching television. No, not him. The baby girl. She's crying loudly. Oh, yes. That's my little cousin, Betty. She wants to play the drum too, I think. That man looks angry. Who? The one who's going out of the room? Yes. That's Richard. He's my uncle. It's too noisy for him. Hmm. He can't read his newspaper. Can you see the girl who's watching television? The one behind the sofa? No. The one who's sitting on the sofa and eating sweets. OK, yes. Her name's Helen. She's my older sister. She's enjoying the programme, isn't she? Yes, it's her favourite. Who's that boy who's sitting at the table? That's my friend, David. It was his birthday last week, and I gave him a new CD. The music's loud, isn't it? Yes, and he plays it again and again and again. Now listen to part one again. Look, that girl has dropped a plate. Oh dear, poor Emma. She made that pizza for her lunch. Why doesn't someone help her? Hmm, everyone's busy. Who's the child on the floor? The boy who's watching television. No, not him. The baby girl. She's crying loudly. Oh, yes. That's my little cousin, Betty. She wants to play the drum too, I think. That man looks angry. Who? The one who's going out of the room? Yes. That's Richard. He's my uncle. It's too noisy for him. Hmm. He can't read his newspaper. Can you see the girl who's watching television? The one behind the sofa? No. The one who's sitting on the sofa and eating sweets. OK, yes. Her name's Helen. She's my older sister. She's enjoying the programme, isn't she? Yes, it's her favourite. Who's that boy who's sitting at the table? That's my friend, David. It was his birthday last week, and I gave him a new CD. The music's loud, isn't it? Yes, and he plays it again and again and again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mum? Can my friend Daisy come here after school on Monday? Not on Monday, Jane. You're going to Vicky's house, remember? Oh, yes, of course. I forgot. I'm going to look after her baby. Look, I'm writing it in the family diary, so you won't forget. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write.
Oh, can you write something for me under Tuesday? Yes. What shall I write? Jane's history exam. Oh yes, that's important. And something else, Jack has to go to the doctor's on Wednesday morning. He told me. Your brother Jack gets everything wrong. He has to go to the dentist then. I've told him three times. When is Dad going to go to London? On Thursday morning, very early. He's going to fly this time. Really? What's he going to do there? He has an important meeting at South Television. Oh right, Mum, could we go to the cinema on Friday evening? Um, yes, all right. There's a new film with Sally Gold. What's it called? Find that star. No, Mum, it's follow that star. Well, <laughs> let's go and see that. Could we go to a restaurant before the film starts? No, Jane. We're going out for dinner on Saturday. Remember, for your father's birthday. Oh yes. Sorry. Where are we going to go? To the Saffron Restaurant. Oh, how do you spell that? Oh, Mum, it's S A double F R O N, and they have really good mango ice cream there. I know. <laughs> It's your father's favourite too. Now listen to part two again. Oh, can you write something for me under Tuesday? Yes. What shall I write? Jane's history exam. Oh yes, that's important. And something else, Jack has to go to the doctor's on Wednesday morning. He told me, "Your brother Jack gets everything wrong. He has to go to the dentist then. I've told him three times." When is Dad going to go to London? On Thursday morning, very early. He's going to fly this time. Really? What's he going to do there? He has an important meeting at South Television. Oh right, Mum. Could we go to the cinema on Friday evening? Um, yes, all right. There's a new film with Sally Gold. What's it called? Find that star. No, Mum, it's Follow that star. Well, <laughs> let's go and see that. Could we go to a restaurant before the film starts? No, Jane. We're going out for dinner on Saturday. Remember, for your father's birthday. Oh yes. Sorry, where are we going to go? To the Saffron Restaurant. Oh, how do you spell that? Oh, Mum, it's S A double F R O N, and they have really good mango ice cream there. I know, it's your father's favourite too. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where do John's old school friends work? Here are my old school photos. Look, this was my class twenty-five years ago. I still see some of these people. What do they do now? Well, this boy here. He's a man now, of course. Is called Michael. I see him every day because he works with me at the bank. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about this girl here? Alex. Hmm. She was very clever, and she studied science. Now she has a very good job at the city airport. I still see her sometimes because we play tennis together. Who's the boy with the red hair? His name's Fred. He was very funny. At school, he often said to us, "One day, I'm going to be a clown and work in a circus." <laughs> well, 
I met him again two months ago, and he does something very different from that. He sells medicines to people in a chemist's shop. He hasn't got much red hair now, but he still makes me laugh. What's this girl's name? I know her face, I think. Ah, yes, you might do. She's a famous actor now. She's called Lucy Wood. She can sing and dance very well, and she usually works in the theatre. Who's that other girl? That's Katie. We were good friends at school, but I don't see her very often now. She was a nurse for many years and worked in a large hospital near here. But three or four years ago she left, and now she works at home. She looks after small children for parents who go out to work. Who was your best friend? This boy here. His name's Paul. He's a businessman now, and he's very rich. He makes and sells fridges. We play golf sometimes, but I don't see him very often because he's so busy. He's always at his factory. He works all the time. Oh, dear. Now listen to part three again. What about this girl here? Alex? Hmm, she was very clever and she studied science. Now she has a very good job at the city airport. I still see her sometimes because we play tennis together. Who's the boy with the red hair? His name's Fred. He was very funny. At school he often said to us, one day I'm going to be a clown and work in a circus. <laughs> well, I met him again two months ago, and he does something very different from that. He sells medicines to people in a chemist's shop. He hasn't got much red hair now, but he still makes me laugh. What's this girl's name? I know her face, I think. Ah, yes. You might do. She's a famous actor now. She's called Lucy Wood. She can sing and dance very well, and she usually works in the theatre. Who's that other girl? That's Katie. We were good friends at school, but I don't see her very often now. She was a nurse for many years and worked in a large hospital near here. But three or four years ago she left, and now she works at home. She looks after small children for parents who go out to work. Who was your best friend? This boy here. His name's Paul. He's a businessman now, and he's very rich. He makes and sells fridges. We play golf sometimes, but I don't see him very often because he's so busy. He's always at his factory. He works all the time. Oh, dear. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Which bird is the teacher thinking of? I'm thinking of a beautiful bird. Can you guess which bird? Is it a parrot? No. Let me help you. It swims on a lake like a duck, but it has a longer neck and big, strong wings. Oh, I know. You're thinking of a swan. That's right. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which is Tom's picture? Now, let's look at the pictures that your class painted. Which is yours, Tom? 
It's got a rocket in it. Hmm. Is it this one? No. My picture has a planet like that one, but mine's got stars in it too. Two. What is Tom going to paint today? What would you like to paint today? A tiger in the jungle? Tom, you always choose that. Paint something different this time. What about spiders on a leaf? Or in a cave? Yeah, that's better. Three. What does Tom need next? Have you finished with the scissors, Tom? Mary needs them. Yes, I have. What's she doing? She wants to cut some pictures out of a magazine. Oh, is there any more paper, Miss Rock? I need some for another picture. Yes, there's some on my desk. Four. What time does the football game start? Our school team is going to play football with West End School at four o'clock, Miss. Are you going to watch us? I'm not sure, Tom. This lesson finishes at three fifteen. Then I have to tidy the classroom. Oh, please, Miss Rock. It's an important game. All right, but I can't stay until the end. I'll have to leave at five. Five. What are the new team clothes like? Have you seen our new team clothes, Miss Rock? Of course I have. White shorts and a red and black shirt. No, Miss. It's different now. We wear black shorts and a red and white striped shirt. What about socks? They're white like before. Now listen to part four again. One. Which is Tom's picture? Now, let's look at the pictures that your class painted. Which is yours, Tom? It's got a rocket in it. Hmm. Is it this one? No. My picture has a planet like that one, but mine's got stars in it too. Two. What is Tom going to paint today? What would you like to paint today? A tiger in the jungle, Tom. You always choose that. Paint something different this time. What about spiders on a leaf? Or in a cave? Yeah, that's better. Three. What does Tom need next? Have you finished with the scissors, Tom? Mary needs them. Yes, I have. What's she doing? She wants to cut some pictures out of a magazine. Oh, is there any more paper, Miss Rock? I need some for another picture. Yes, there's some on my desk. Four. What time does the football game start? Our school team is going to play football with West End School at four o'clock, Miss. Are you going to watch us? I'm not sure, Tom. This lesson finishes at three fifteen. Then I have to tidy the classroom. Oh, please, Miss Rock. It's an important game. All right, but I can't stay until the end. I'll have to leave at five. Five. What are the new team clothes like? Have you seen our new team clothes, Miss Rock? Of course, I have. White shorts and a red and black shirt. No, Miss. It's different now. We wear black shorts and a red and white striped shirt. What about socks? They're white like before. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Would you like to color this picture? Okay. Shall I color the man whose foot is in the water? 
Yes, all right. Color his face blue. Okay, that's the best color for him, I think. Can you see the man's blue face? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write and draw. One. Now can you color one of the snowmen? Which one? The one between the trees? No, the big one at the front. Okay. Can I color it yellow? Yes, that's fine. Two. Look, they're throwing snowballs. Would you like to color one of those children? Yes. Can I color the one next to the skis? All right. Color his trousers brown. Three. I'd like you to write something now. Can you see the man in the fur hat? Yes, he's pointing at a board. Right. Under the word thin, I'd like you to write the word ice. Okay? Okay, I've written it. Four. Can I draw something now? Yes, of course. Look at the mountain. Which one? The one which is further away? That's right. It looks smaller. Draw a house on the top of it and color it purple. All right. Five. Now, can you see those two girls with bikes? Yes, I can. Shall I color the one who's pushing her bike? No, color the other one, the one who's riding over the bridge. All right. Can I color her jacket green? Yes, that's fine. You finished now. Well done. Now listen to part five again. One. Now can you color one of the snowmen? Which one? The one between the trees? No, the big one at the front. Okay. Can I color it yellow? Yes, that's fine. Two. Look, they're throwing snowballs. Would you like to color one of those children? Yes. Can I color the one next to the skis? All right. Color his trousers brown. Three. I'd like you to write something now. Can you see the man in the fur hat? Yes, he's pointing at a board. Right. Under the word thin, I'd like you to write the word ice. Okay? Okay, I've written it. Four. Can I draw something now? Yes, of course. Look at the mountain. Which one? The one which is further away? That's right. It looks smaller. Draw a house on the top of it and color it purple. All right. Five. 
five. Now, can you see those two girls with bikes? Yes, I can. Shall I color the one who's pushing her bike? No, color the other one, the one who's riding over the bridge. All right. Can I color her jacket green? Yes, that's fine. You finished now. Well done. That is the end of the flyers' practice listening test one.